Hi, my name is Robin Turin. I'd like to show you an open source uh, project I put together for the Lilligo T Display S3 AMOLED uh, board, which is uh, this board right here. And so, what I'll do is I'll just plug it in here and we'll see it in action. Basically, it's a uh, YouTube subscriber uh, tracker. So, uh, first thing it's going to do is it's going to just connect to the internet. And uh, when it does that, it'll also show you your IP address. Uh, and then what it'll do is show you the number of subscribers you have on YouTube. Uh, you can change that screen. So this top button is used to change the screen. And we've got a, a variety of things we can uh, do. So here the, that's the default. But if you just press that top button once, it takes the word subscribers away. Press it again. It uh, shows you the number of views. So this is saying about 146,000 uh, 0.1 views. So what that is, it's actually um, somewhere between 146,100 and 146,199. So when that actually reaches 146,200, that point 0.1 will change to a point 0.2. And when it goes from 146,999 to 147,000, uh, that will change to 147.0. So you don't uh, you don't get the the kind of that number to change until it actually reaches it. Uh, the K is for thousands. Uh, if you're into the millions, that'll be an M, or if you're into the trillions, so that'll be a T. Uh, and then so I'm going to just keep pressing this top button. So that's the views. Uh, here it is again without the word views. Again, uh, this gets you both the subscribers and the views, and then that gets you both of those numbers without the words. And finally, there's a little uh, kind of about page there that tells you where you can download the, the, the uh, learn more about the, the project. The source code's up on GitHub. It also shows you the IP address. Um, one thing I'll note is that when you're changing the screens like that, what it'll do is, uh, as you scroll through the, the, the screens, it won't save them. It'll wait for about 10 seconds until after you've, uh, You've changed the screen and then you'll see that little green light go on and that means that'll save that screen so if I unplug it and plug it back in that'll be uh, the screen that comes up as uh, as the new default also uh, you can change the update frequency uh, in there do you know switch sketch to be whatever you like between a minute and you know a day if you want wherever whatever you want it to be uh, but if what you want it to do is go and get your stats immediately. You just press this bottom button, and it'll go and go and refresh them. So uh, that's that's the program in a nutshell. Um, with it though, I've also uh, here I'll show you this thing as well. Here, this is a little stand that I 3D uh, model uh, that I made, uh, which you can print off. Uh, there's some wiring. The wires go down the edges here, and uh, in through there's a little connector there, so I can. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link to this this model and this uh, and, and the things that you need. Um, it's up on printables.com, uh, but uh, if you go to my website, which I'll put a link to below, uh, it'll uh, it'll show you how to get that that model, and uh, you can actually adjust the uh, you can adjust the uh, kind of the viewing angle of that if you like. So uh, that's the project. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, I enjoyed making it, and uh, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.